In this lecture, we'll learn how to do linear and polynomial fit. So to do that, you have to come to analysis and head over to fitting. So there are so many ways of fitting, but in this lecture, we'll look at linear and polynomial fit. So let's head over to linear fit and open the dialog box. So to do linear fit, you have to select some columns where you want to fit or to get your plot. So you can even start by selecting these columns and come in and the input data will be selected. But you can also come in here and choose your column. So we've chosen A and B to fit. Please note that I have attached fitting to the resources so you can always go in and import it into origin and follow as well. So once you have it in here, you can go to fit control and you can control how your fits will come out to be. So you can, for instance, fix the intercept to a certain value. So now if you check this box, you can now put in, okay, you want your intercept to be this value or you want your slope to be this value. So you can play around this as well. You can also head in and change some of the fit parameters um let's say we don't want this okay and we just want to keep it simple so but you can go through this and change whatever that you need so just to do a simple fit you can just come in and and play around this you can show you can ch change how the outputs will be and let's just go to okay so this is the result so you have your sheet this is where our data set is and the next one is the f the report and you have the parameters so you have your intercept and the slope and you also have some statistics generated from what we selected uh, you can come in and always change that if you want so you can go back here and change parameters and you can change some of the things that we had and this is the fitted curves plot so when you click this is our data that we had and so let's say we made an experiment and we had this data but we want to have a fit or a model for it so in terms of linear you can use this equation which is a plus bx and our a is the intercept so the value is 0 0.8 and our b is the slope which is 0 0.83 whatever so yeah that is that so that is how you do a simple linear fit and the next tab is your data set so you have your fitted curve plot over here let's head over to our sheet again and the next one is to do fitting so you want to do fit linear with x arrow so this time you can also come in and set this as your x arrow and it will be included in your fit so let's come in and head to analysis fitting and we can head over to fit linear with x arrow come in so now we have a b c columns selected and let's just accept whatever it gives us and this is what we have so once we come to our plot you can see that it includes the fit it includes the errors into your fit and the same plot because it has errors in there you see that the intercept and the slope changes slightly so that is also something useful that you can do using origin you can select many columns so let's say you have all these columns let's do a demonstration let's set this back to a y okay and then oh, this change to y so let's set this to x okay so now we have two y's and if you want to do multiple fit together you just come to fitting and let's choose linear fit let's just accept 
and this gives us fits for column B and also fits for column C and you can see the result so this is the first one you can come back and these are the values for the parameters that we got from the fit and this is the second one which is column C which is kind of linear and there you go so this is kind of a perfect fit so our experimental data were were linear very very linear so from the results you can see that for C it's it's highly perfect yeah and if you look at the PSNs R which is shows high number so you can go through these and you'll get it okay so the next on the list is polynomial fit so we've done linear fit but maybe you want a polynomial fit maybe um, a quadratic or of the order three to whatever that you need so i just created this equation and i've also attached this to the file so just go ahead and have it let's just plot and see how it looks like so you have this is a polynomial of the order five is the highest order so five and let's see how we can fit this so let's zoom out and come back so let's select a and b head over to analysis and fitting and we can do polynomial fit open dialog box so over here we've chosen a and b and the polynomial order chosen is two so we can come in and let's say choose one so when you choose one you're going to get a linear fit so that is something to note so you can always use polynomial and use one to get your linear and you see the equation is just intercept plus slope times x so you have it here you can always come back and change the parameters so let's say we are changing the polynomial order to two so you see the fit becomes quadratic however because our equation was to the power five we still don't have that good of a fit and you can keep adjusting this to let's say let's change this to four which is quite close and we have quite a good fit so four is quite close almost there but it's not highly perfect but it's very good for a fit but five i believe should be more perfect so let's change parameters and head over to five so yeah five gives us a very nice and perfect fit so that is something to note and you can always edit edit this as we've already done so yeah and you generate your results as well for polynomial just as you did for linear you have your intercept and you have all these statistics and summary in here so you have your coefficients of your of, of, of the values because the equation will, will be so if you have five the equation is this intercept plus b x to the power one b2 to the power two b3 so you have all these values also found for you so this is a nice tool to have and it'll help you model your data into linear and polynomial fit